Well, countless lives are saved now that organ and tissue donation is routine. Still, once in a while you hear a story that takes you back to when every transplant felt like a miracle. A story like this one from Seth Kaplan. Mackenzie Zerbe was eight years old when she got the diagnosis, type 1 diabetes. It's been a rough road with that. When I was a teenager, I did not take care of it. I did not listen, and unfortunately this led me to kidney disease. Then kidney failure, dialysis. And I just thought, I, I can't, I can't live on machines. My family and my husband just kept me going. She had just gotten married, was 32 years old. Her doctor called. Your kidneys are at 10%. You need to go to the hospital immediately. I went there, they did tests, and they said, no, your kidneys now are at 8% within um, not even 12 hours. She was dying. Around the same time, her mother-in-law, Catherine Zerby, ran into a friend at the nail salon. How's the family? Catherine answered honestly. She needs a kidney transplant. <laughs> kidney <laughs> transplant. And she said, don't you worry. She goes, things are going to work out. Two weeks later, the same friend. She calls me at work and says, Kathy, are you sitting down? I have a kidney for you. And I'm like, what do you mean you have a kidney? for me. I got a call from her, hysterical, saying that I had to get to the um, hospital. There was an accident with, um, with someone that we know, and she found me a kidney. And I said, she said I needed to call the transplant uh, team. And I said, Kathy, I, I didn't even see them yet. I was actually out of town at the time, received a phone call. Kim Barnett of UPMC Harrisburg's kidney transplant program. Pre-transplant testing usually takes months. Organs only last hours after someone dies. Kim called the doctors. If we have an opportunity to help somebody, we should take this challenge. What happened next is a long story, although kind of not. Probably 48 hours. And then I just remember waking up in ICU with a transplant. I have received a kidney of being in dialysis when people wait like 30 years. It's amazing. <laughs> it was meant to be. I'm telling you that it was, it was a, a complete match. One helped by technology and compassion, but also communication by a chatty mother-in-law. And her telling someone, someone I didn't even know, it saved my life. <laughs> and communication by that donor. And sharing your, your wishes with your family or next of kin is, is really um, huge in that process. Dreams big and small coming true for Mackenzie. She goes walking yeah. every day with her little dog. <laughs> we want to go to Jamaica. Uh, I can't believe the energy I have now, too. I said I haven't felt this good since I was 15. And, you know, and cheerleading. A cheerleader now for organ and tissue donation. In Dauphin County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.